What's up guys? In this video we're going to be taking the script from each Fire Emblem game and ordering them from shortest to longest. So to do this I just took the script from each game um, and just did a, a word count to you know for the metric that we'll be using. I rounded the word count to the nearest hundredth just to make uh, the numbers more even, more nice looking. As for parts of the script that I did not include, um, I did not include any supports because I just felt like supports shouldn't be really included since they're completely optional and not really part of the main story as well and i did not include any dlc and i did not include like the character endings like in the credits epilogue uh what i did include was like village and house conversations uh talk and recruitment conversations i included paralogues and guidance chapters um, in the games that have them, I included base conversations. So we're going to start from the shortest script and work our way to the longest script. So the shortest script is FE1 with 6,200 words. Um, not really a surprise here. FE1 has very little text, uh, mostly due to the hardware I think it's on. There is pre battle text and post battle text uh there are like talk and recruitment conversations and there's houses and villages that you'll get a lot of like info story from uh, but that's about it for fe1 next is fe2 with 6900 words fe2 does a lot of things different that most firearm games do uh that it has like npc dialogue you walk around in like little villages and forts and you can talk to npcs and they're all also are pre and post battle conversations for like important battles but basically same as FE1 just really limited hardware I think is the reason why it's so low. Next is FE11 Shadow Dragon um, at 26,000 words. Uh, this isn't really a surprise either even though it's a DS game and like relatively new compared to other games, but they really didn't. It's just a remake of FE1. So all they did was added a prologue, some guide and chapters, um, but that's about it. They kept most of the text and dialogue the same. They did add a uh, world map dialogue before every battle. Um, they might've added more uh, dialogue to some of the recruitment conversations, but they kept most things the same. Most of the script is the same. Next is FE3 with 33,200 words. I think FE3 is high because it had both book one and two, which book one is just basically a, like a remaster of FE1. They just cut out a few chapters, but basically kept everything else the same. So basically just like two games in one. They also add like world map dialogue before every chapter that adds quite a bit of text. Uh, number 12 is FE5 with 40,300 words. So I think there's more words now because they're adding more to the story, trying to like add more depth to the characters. There's also a lot of chapters in FE5, lots of guide chapters. Uh, next is FE six with 51,200 words. FE6 has a lot of characters. However, like only like a few of them actually speak um, and actually have like the dialogue, story dialogue, like Roy, Guinevere, Merlinus, Marcus, um, like the mo more important villains speak. Next is FE8 with 54,900 words. FE8 kind of feels like the opposite of FE6 where there's fewer characters, but more characters actually speak and have things to say throughout this story. There's also two routes um, I concluded, like Erica and Aphrom's book routes both. Next is FE12 with 57,000 words. Um, FE12 being a remake of book two from FE3. Um, I think the inclusion of Chris the self-insert avatar um, added a lot to the dialogue and text. They also added base conversations that give a little more info on in the story and like on the, the world. They also added uh, guidance chapters. Next at number eight is surprisingly FE13 Awakening as 64,400 words. Um, 
this surprising as there's lots of chapters, lots of paralogues in Awakening, but I feel like the text and the dialogue just feels empty and there's really short like conversations between battles. Next is FE15, uh, Echoes, the remake of Gaiden uh, at 64,700 words. So they just took this remake even like one step further from the the other ones, uh, they added the base, com like base conversations where you can like hang out in a, like all the characters hang out in villages. If you go to a village, they'll like be hanging out. You can talk to them, have like usually have interesting things to say. They added a lot of like more text to the, the story, more just more to the script. Uh, they also included those memory scenes. Number six is FE4 at 64,800 words. Um, this is kind of surprising that the, one of the NES ga SNES games um, has this many words in it, but it does make sense as FE4 is just a, a huge game, a very huge story, uh, just lots of conversations happening. Um, after you conquer every castle, there's a new, there's more, you know, story that progresses the story, more text, more dialogue. And there's also lots of different dialogue depending on the pairings you take in generation one and generation two as well. Like, at the, like specifically at the end of the game, um, when each pairing will go to their respective like houses or you know where they go you know who goes who rules which land like territory depends on who they are paired up with or if they're not paired up at all then at number five we're getting to the top five now is fe7 with 78,500 words um i think fe7 is this um, has this amount of words, this high amount of words because of the amount of chapters. Um, like FE7 has a very high amount of playable chapters, like around 43 amount, like 43 playable chapters. Um, it also includes Lin mode, which has quite a bit of dialogue, you know, but yeah, compared to like the other GBA games, they're just a high and most firearm games. FE7 has some like the one of the highest amount of playable chapters. Then at number four is FE9 at 107,000 words. Um, FE9 just has lots of chapters, like 30 playable chapters. Uh, the base conversations add a lot uh, to, of text and dialogue and FE9 just has a lot of like politics going on and it's just a huge story. Uh, then at number three is FE10 at 130,700 words. Um, FE10 is just basically the same as FE9, just a larger scale. Um, it just keeps the base conversations. Um, it has like 42 playable chapters. It has like just the politics going on. Then at number two is FE14 Fates at 157,400 words. Um, I just decided to count all of Fates just as a one in one. So we have like three routes, a huge cast of characters. Each route is almost a full game. I did not like count chapters one through six, like three times. I just counted that one time and then each route on top of that. But yeah, there's not much to say there because it's just three games in one is why it's so high. And at number one is FE16, three houses at 290,500 words. I also just counted this as one game pretty much because of the four routes. Like I only counted part one as basically once and then the other four routes I counted on top of that. But Three Houses has a lot of dialogue in the monastery itself. Just like after each chapter, you have everybody in the in the monastery has something new to say. Uh, there's a, quite a bit of paralogues as well in Three Houses. And I know in like in like pretty much all the dialogue, like every major character has something to say usually. Like all of the students for whatever house you chose, like they all say something, which is not something that's common in Fire Emblem games is that, you know, the entire cast like usually has something to say like every chapter but that is the video if you enjoyed it like subscribe comment if any of these has surprised you i hope you enjoyed the video and have a great rest of your day